piloting is one of the most glamorous carriers in the world. The excitement of flying an airline and the rewards that come with it are simply unimaginable. However, what do you need to become a pilot? Becoming a pilot entails more than just getting a bachelor's degree in physics, mathematics or engineering. You need to go through a pilot school and obtain a license before being recognized as a trained and certified pilot. Discuss during some of the requirements needed to become a qualified pilot. Initial requirements The key to eliminating competition is getting an undergraduate degree before applying to a flying academy. While this is not a compulsory requirement, most commercial airlines require increasingly demanding that their pilots have a university degree. As such, apply for a four-year undergraduate course that emphasizes on aviation. Since training to become a pilot is involving, having a bachelor degree in a certain field is an indication that you are more than willing to complete the rigorous pilot training. Find out if there are pilot training schools in your area. This will allow you to embark on your training as you go about completing your degree. Before getting a pilot certificate, you need to accumulate at least 40 hours of flying. However, to be on the safe side, you need to accumulate at least 60 hours of flying. Apply for medical examination from the Federal Aviation Administration. You cannot receive your pilot certificate unless you have received a first class medical certificate. It is important that you pass your medical test before investing so much time and money in your training. Advanced Prerequisites Upon receiving your private pilot license, immediately embark on instrument rating and commercial certificate. What this means is that, you have to accumulate at least 50 hours of cross-country pick, pilot and command, as well as 40 hours of simulated instrument settings. However, if you are keen on flying a commercial airplane, you will be required to accumulate 100 hours of pilot and command, 50 hours of cross-country flying and 100 hours of dual training flying in a compound airplane. Commercial pilot license is usually issued by the FAA. With a commercial pilot license, you will be able to fly a passenger and cargo plane. On the other hand, if you are keen on flying helicopters, you need to obtain a commercial license, but with a helicopter grading. While selecting a flight school, it is crucial that you pay attention to the experience and qualifications that the instructors have 